Hello, welcome back to Blender Sushi Left Noding. In this episode, we're gonna use Blender and Spare Chalk add-on to create some kind of um, some kind of creature with tentacles, and we're gonna do it in the way that's the simplest way possible. Um, so yeah, I just gonna get it started right away. I know for the fact that um, we can start with uh, an object with any any objects, and then we can easily use this. Um, multi extrude add-on and I think this is the easiest way but doesn't mean that this is the only way there are many ways you can do this even like um, you, you might uh, have like a uh, better creatures but this is the easiest way and yeah let's see how it uh, how it works so if you start with a rounded box you actually will end up with something that's looking like a sphere this is actually a good start um, you can have sphere that looks just like a box uh, actually this is a rounded box so you, you want to have some kind of uh, round edges round face um, uh, maybe start with four is not too bad you can go higher but four is kind of nice value and here we have this multi extrude add-on um, this thing is actually very cool, but it doesn't work right away. Uh, you, you need to provide uh, some kind of number for the face mask. This actually give you like a, if you give like a random number, and it will actually work right away. See, let's say you, you say, okay, you want a random number between 0 and 40, and then you kind of this is this means you give like a random number polygon face index into this node so it knows which uh, which one to extrude but in this case you really want to have um, some kind of numbers that you can you can kind of keep track of so in this case for the for our tentacular creature we, we really want to make a um, something like this you know like a just a range we just want to extrude from this face so this is kind of right for uh, what we are doing um, you can go lower but you need to change the value this number is kind of right I'm gonna save this real quick so this is SV tentacle character we're gonna learn how to animate this uh, creature as well so yeah let's uh, let's do let's play around with this node, um, you can offset it further. Okay, adjust location. Okay, that's we can leave that um, at zero zero zero. Rotations, rotation is actually what we want. So that's a bit, a little bit like um, octopus. Rotations and there's this n rotations. This is kind of it's normal rotation. Just kind of useful as well. So this is something that um, we want to animate perhaps um, the scaling also kind of useful uh, now we have like um, octopus with 16 legs uh, we can offset slightly offset the this guy rotation variation scale noise um, probability this give a um, different length of tentacles for this one just keep it the same the seed we can animate the seed, but it's gonna looks jerky. Um, in a way, if you want to animate this creature, we want to animate it um, the, using these uh, six attributes. So, and there's this uh, repeat as well. Just keep it low for now. Proportional offset, no. Yeah, the rest of the option is not so useful for us. So yeah, I want to be able to animate this, but Sphere Chalk, uh, this node doesn't come with any kind of uh, input for this rotation X, Y, Z, but we can kind of uh, kind of hack it using Sphere Chalk. Uh, so we have this setup, right? The octopus, and we want to hack. We want to get into these attributes. Um, the way to do that, one way to do that is to look at this this guy and then maybe we can hack it using animation nodes but I'm gonna use spare chalk to do this so object ID selector is where I should start we're gonna get into the node groups and we're gonna name this node group uh, octopus 
and by using stethoscope we can check okay this object id selector knows inside this blend scene there is this um, node groups called octopus so we can use a filter object id filter and get into the octopus node tree and once we get the octopus node tree we can really get inside any of these nodes and kind of animate it that way so we are using nodes to animate nodes so it's like really powerful um, so so we have rotate XYZ and this guy okay we're gonna animate all of those um, let me check the attributes once again so you can see bpy dot data dot node groups octopus so we already got the octopus so the next thing you want is the is the nodes called multi extrude add-on blah 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 we can use this um, set object id set and we simply pipe in this uh, object data value and then we just right click on this guy and then copy and then paste here we don't need this anymore we just need uh, the nodes name and then the name of the attributes so now hopefully it will work so we can control this from um, using nodes um, of course we don't have ability to randomize this guy because the nodes is not um, vectorized but if you if you use maybe if you use um, if you modify these nodes a little bit I think you can actually get a variations for its tentacles but for now it's kind of okay um, so we have this uh, access to rotation Z so we want to access the rotate XYZ so the object is the same the name of the attributes rotate X rotate Y and rotate Z and for the value uh, we want to use uh, maybe vector turbulence and we're gonna use line maybe here or actually just use a vector a single vector goes in here and as the result we get this uh, noise and we can use vector out and get the value for X and Y and Z and let's animate this guy and see okay it's kind of working um, I'm gonna use move vector move for this guy and I'm gonna move this vector up over the center certain directions I'm gonna use frame here let it run uh, okay maybe reduce this I uh, know the fact that we need to increase the the vector value so vector math should be right so there you always start to give some interesting result probably a little bit too jerky let's see maybe this is the rotations how about this uh, n rotation n rot x okay let's try this maybe the speed is too fast increase the amplitude here frequency lower let 
Maybe vector turbulence is not the right one to use. I will use um, vector noise. Same deal. So it is one give more like uh, some kind of floaty looking. You see how the attributes change there? Okay, I will do the same thing for rotate XYZ. So now it's a little bit more interesting. So yeah, I just wish the tentacles can kind of move individually, but for now they are kind of using the same noise. Um, I don't know, maybe I maybe there's something that I'm missing here with the seed or something. But anyhow, so we get this kind of creature, and the way I think of it is like. Um, if we want to animate, if we want to use this creature, we can um, we can bake as alembic, and then later on we use animation nodes to offset the alembic. So that's uh, the idea. So fewer B mesh, and this is gonna output the object. That's now a real creatures, um, and we can we can smooth it. So fewer VMAS, you can smooth it, calculate the normal, and you get this creature. And with this creature, you want if you want to output it, make sure you normally I just use like displays and then zero it out before I export the alembic. That's kind of like uh, force the Blender alembic export to export the actual data. So I'll make this. 100 frames and selected object only. Gonna save it. In the next live noting video, I might use uh, animation nodes. Um, I, I will use the alembic and I'm gonna do the alembic offset using animation nodes. Um, I did that before in the past, but I think it's a lot easier now. So, and SV tentacle character, I just import the alembic you can see we have 100 frames and this creature is working and we can you know make duplicates everything's still working later on with uh, with animation nodes what we're gonna do is really for this currently this is one alembic data for and four you see four use four users for the same alembic data if we hit the hit the number this data will be um, unique for each of the object and by doing that you can really use override frame and let's see this guy is supposed to work then yeah, I need to run run the frame and then kind of animate it that way so see By doing that, we have like um, looks like each creature is kind of uh, unique. Oh yeah, um, that's pretty much it for this live learning video. Hopefully, you find this useful. Let me know what you think. Any question, feedbacks, uh, let me know, and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you. Bye.